Hi everybody, my name is Sabrina and I am doing this recording to give some information about myelomalacia and myelopathy. During this time, I hope you, you enjoy the drone footage that my son Jake recorded on my last visit to see my grandkids in Northern California on the coast. The definition of myelopathy is basically the disease of the spinal cord. Myelomalacia is a pathological term referring to the softening of the spinal cord. Hemorrhagic infarction is simple term is bleeding of the spinal cord. This can occur as a sequel to acute injury, such as a fall. As you can tell, my voice is a little hoarse. I do have other symptoms that are based on my experience. Some of these symptoms are also testimonies and stories of others afflicted with myelomalacia. I unfortunately have been diagnosed with myelopathy with myelomalacia combined due to a fall. Because the symptoms of myelomalacia are so extensive and so long, I'm going to list them based on my symptoms and others on the Facebook Myelomalacia group page, who has about 400 followers or more. If you've watched my channel, you know that I've had a lot of surgeries in the past few years. Being a NICU nurse keeps me quite busy at work. So because I haven't been able to work, I have been playing a lot of Xbox with my family. I love the communication factor of getting on there with my family and just chatting away to keep my mind busy and to keep me from going insane. It also helps me to sit back and relax and enjoy some scenery. There's a lot of people that have a lot of questions about symptoms of myelomalacia, one being the headaches. Yes, if you missed that, my character did get hit in the head with a bird. Pain is a normal part of life when you live with myelopathy and myelomalacia due to spinal cord injury. The nerve pain is sometimes unbearable. You try to stay grounded with your family and enjoy the day-to-day -day of life 
doing hobbies and other things to keep your mind big and busy. But sometimes you can feel yourself getting further and further away from a normal life that you once would have had without this disease. I would tell anyone who has family that has a spinal cord injury to remain patient with them, to understand the pain they're in, to try and be an advocate for them. I would also recommend that patients look into group therapy. The Myelomalacia group page on Facebook has been a lifesaver for me. It helps to talk to other people with the same issues that you have, to run by problems of day-to-day living, the pains and quirks you have with your body that some doctors or other people might not understand. Staying positive with your family and your loved ones is huge for people with this disease. For me, it's so important to keep the positive energy flowing and enjoy every moment that I have in every day. If this is the first time that you've seen one of my videos, I would remind you that I do have another video on myelomalacia. On my first myelomalacia video, there is a lot of information that I might not have covered in this video. Also, check out some of my spinal surgery videos as they're pretty funny. I hope you enjoyed my video and got some good information and some good inspiring thoughts. As always, have a warm and wonderful day. Live, laugh, and love always.